so we're going to go into this viral name, but real quick, let me show you um, my book collection. I have a lot of books, Akim, in Aquats. Uh, like I said, all these books were hand selected. That's my grandson right there. Uh, they were hand selected for the truth. Every single one of these books are for the truth. There's no other reason for me to have anything else. Now, I got a lot of autobiographies because you can learn from men's lives on how they got to where they are. But for the most part, everything I have, like I said, is for the truth. All right? Um, and it just took a long time to acquire all these things. I'm not going to show you all of them, but, you know, I got quite a bit of collection of books. Going into this viral name, um, this is our forefathers. They actually, um, see this church here? All these sketches of our forefathers, just like the catacombs, or on this church over in uh, Blue. Where is it? Uh, I want to give you the specific exact place where it is. Um, I think this is uh, St. Basil. The, uh, where is it at? It's somewhere in Rome. I can't, don't quote me on that. If I have to go through this book, I, I can't never remember the name of it, the city. But, uh, it's uh, during the Byzantine era when this was all put on these uh, churches. Okay, let me show you something real quick. Now this is Christ. This is just like we just saw in the um, in the Spanish. Uh, the early Spanish manuscript illustration, this is the same thing. Now, how did those brothers get way over to the Americas and draw the same thing? Here's probably this black man. Look at that. When he comes back, he's going to catch a lot of people off guard along with his angels being black. See that? People think that he is a Caucasian man. Does color have anything to do with it? Absolutely, because... Christ's ancestors are here on the earth today, the 12 tribes of Israel. And it's all about the 12 tribes of Israel. When you read Genesis chapter 49, verse 1, Jacob is talking to his 12 sons and he says, I'm going to tell you about the end times and what will befall upon you in the last days. He didn't give it to everybody, just his sons. That's why in Zephaniah 2 and 1, he says, gather yourselves together O nation, not desire, because the 12 tribes are not desired anymore. And then in Psalms 83, verse 3 down to 6, it says, it talks about our enemies, how they're going to make crafty counsel and make sure the name of Israel doesn't exist anymore. The 12 tribes of Israel. You hear Jews, but that's not the, or, or Jewish, that's not the real people of the Bible. The real people are those where crafty counsel was taken to shoot us down. They hide in hidden places to shoot down the 12 tribes of Israel, which are under the curses today, which is written of in Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15, all the way to verse 68, where we would be taken into ships by way of the sea and sold into captivity. It's the biggest mystery in the world. The money, the debt clock that the United States has, which is trillions of dollars, that can't even cover what they owe us. It can't even cover it. They owe us everything. That's why the Most High says you will be lords over all, judging the 12 tribes of Israel. Um, so that's Christ. Wait till he comes back. He's coming back not as a man. Now, this is the Edomites going into captivity. See that? Why is this on the wall? <laughs> this dude got a six pack too because they be working out. <laughs> but they go into the captivity. And you know what? I didn't say it. The most high of his angels said it. His angels are coming back to bring vengeance on the heathen. 
They're going to blow that shofar like I got up there. You know, I got my shofar always ready. They're going to blow that shofar, man, and place the Edomites in the captivity. Y'all see that? Now, the image that you brothers and sisters are and have been worshiping is the beast. Okay, the fourth kingdom, the Edomite kingdom, the last kingdom is the image of the beast. There, what they call the kings of the Bible. That's what the image is. Okay, remember in the book of Maccabees, which a lot of you don't have in your Bible, you need to go purchase this. The Apocrypha. This is what's missing in your Bible. Notice this is authorized King James Version. Authorized. They took it out of the King James Version in the 17, 1700s. Protestant Church. Look at what it says. I'm going right to the point. 1 Maccabees chapter 3, verse 48. This is what the heathens did to us. When we got back to our temple, we opened up our books. It says, and laid open the book of the law when the heathen, the heathen that got a hold to our temple and our book, they had sought to paint the likeness of their images. See that? That's not the true images. That is the beast. The image of the beast. See that? The image of the beast. And you people believe that that's what they call Jesus Christ of the Hebrews. Of the Israelites. Y'all better wake up. Let's see what Matthew chapter 24 says. Matthew 24 verse. Let's go to 23. It says. Then if any man shall say unto you. Lo here is Christ. Or there. Believe it not. What does that mean? Here is Christian. I'm a Christian. I'm a Christian. For there shall rise false Christ. Jump up to 15. It says, When ye therefore shall see the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet, stand in the holy place, whoso readeth, let him understand. Have you read of? Have you understood? Did you have the Apocrypha? Did you have the book of Maccabees? Did you know that Alexander the Greek is in the Bible? A lot of y'all don't know that Alexander the, the fool is in the Bible. I feel the way that I'm speaking is the way I feel every day. I feel every minute of the hour just like I'm speaking. Ready to go. But we got a lot of teaching. And if it takes me another 80 years to be here on earth to teach, and I'm I'm 50 now. If it takes another 80 years for me to be here on the earth and teach, I'm gonna teach. Most I will it. Uh, first book of the Maccabees, and it happened after the Alexander, son of Philip, the Macedonian, who came out of the land of Chittim, had smitten Darius the king of the Persians. I bet y'all ain't got that in your Bible. How did the Persian Empire go down? And the Medes, how did they go down? It says that he reigned in the stead, the first over Greece. Now, Darius is in the book of Daniel. He's in the Bible. But Alexander the Greek, how come they got, they got Alexander the Greek in the Bible in similitudes when you read the book of Daniel. He's the last beast. He's the leopard. Well, Rome is the last beast, but Alexander the Greek is in there. And made many wars and won many strongholds and slew the kings of the earth. And went through to the ends of the earth and took spoils of many nations insomuch that the earth was quiet before him, whereupon he was exalted and his heart was lit. That's the beast. That is the beast. That is the beast. You see that? This little guy is going to grow up to look like this guy. <laughs> I'm just telling y'all, man. Y'all better wake up. Whoso readeth, let him understand. Brothers better understand. I just showed y'all angels in those drawings. And those angels represent judgment coming on the earth. 
When you go to Revelation 13 and 9, it says, If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into what? Captivity shall go into captivity. The fugitives have not been judged. They're fugitives. They have been running for years. They have not been judged. Oh, it's time for me to wake up and get ready for work. Good morning. <laughs> you know what? And with that, oh, one more thing before I close up. If you don't believe me, I got another book that proves to you. No, nope, that's Hellenism. That's Hellenism. I bet you I ain't got that book. That's a good book. I'm reading that one right now, but I left that one on the desk. Uh, let's see. Ah, here it is. Buried under everything else. All right, the truth is buried, y'all. When he says truth shall spring from the earth, you know what that means? That means you're going to have to dig. It ain't just going to spring up by itself. It means you got to dig. To dig a well, that's the only way you're going to get water. You have to find it, dig it, and then the well or the spout springs up. It ain't just going to spring up. You got to work for it. You got to knock at the door. He said, knock at the door and the door shall open. This book right here is called America Being an Accurate Description of the New World. Pretty hard to get this one. Been having this a long time, but I don't publicize it. This is a, this is a, this right here is a gold nugget. Through here shows all the natives, right, of the Americas. Look at that. That's a Guatemalan. You see how black he is? And the people that are Guatemalans are the same people. They're just lighter in shade now. You got to remember 10% 10 percent of the so-called Mexicans, which are not uh, Guatemalans, uh, are left. The originals are left. But they have multiplied, and there's a lot of them now. So a lot of them are Israelites. So when we look at this, look at this one. Nova Hispania. This is Guatemala. Look at those brothers standing next to the Edomites. See the shades? See that? Check this one out. This is Native Americans in the Americas. Look how dark they are. Look at the woolly hair. They have woolly hair. They have fringes too. See the fringes? They the fringe. Look at the women covering their head, dressed in, in modest apparel. See that? There's many, many more in here. I mean, this whole book is filled with golden nuggets, man. Filled with golden nuggets. Um, but the one that I wanted to show, because we were talking about the bees, right? We were talking about the bees. Um, let me show you that the beast was also in America. The beast was also in America. Just like uh, before they became Greeks, before they became Macedonians, they was in the caves. Job chapter 30, that's what he was telling us about, that they was in the caves. There was still some over here in the caves. And this is what they were doing. These are the Edomites. They were in the Americas too. Look at how they look, like animals. Look at the bones. Look at the, the, the bodies they've killed. See, that's a man laying down on his back that they're eating. Cannibals. Edomites. Let's read this real quick, and I'm going to end it with this. Um, let's start seven leagues. Seven leagues farther in the country, beyond the town of the Isles, lies a... I'm trying to read through the phone. <laughs> Namel's Lake, three leagues long, as many broad and above ten fathom deep and full of fifth manatite. This is written a long time. See how the letters are all jacked up uh, before the J's probably was implemented. Which are very large and well tough besides abundance of crocodiles and in windy weather the water is as rough as it were. I'm trying to get to the point. Where is it? Okay, here it is. It's third paragraph. Round about this river live the Gaiamores. That's what they call the Edomites. The most savage people of all America. 
They are gigantic size, have white skins, carry exceeding great bows. They were hunters and arrows. Live without houses like beasts. I told you, Esau is the beast of the earth. Devour man's, I don't know, man's flesh. That's what that is. Man's flesh like tigers. Hmm. Never fight in companies or armies, but watch to surprise a single man or beast. They also eat their own children. Mm -mm -mm. I'm going to stop right there. This is crazy. But these are the Edomites, all right? And the, and the Spaniards and uh, the Brit when they came down there and they saw these beasts, they fled. They fled out of the country. They saw themselves in the mirror. They saw what they used to be. You know, like uh, when you watch Star Trek and uh, Captain Kirk, and them, they'll go down to a, another planet, and the planet will be old, and they'll have, like, old ways, and they'll be, like, so far advanced that they'll be like, this was us. This was us in the past. You know, they're still living like cavemen. That's what they saw when they came here. To the Americas. They saw themselves still living like cavemen. They were advanced. You know, I could go on and on talking about this, but I got to get ready for work. So I would say shalom to you, brothers and sisters. All praises to the Most High, Yahweh. By Shiva Mashiach, I was shy. Get ready for the Feast of Nicanor coming up and Purim. It's on its way. We give the Most High praise all day, every day. And do your best to keep his commandments and follow his son, Christ, Yahweh Shai. He is the savior of the world of Israel. Shalom, Akio. Peace from Shemayuan.